Hey there everybody, it's Lance with Love to Hate where we try to help gamers find great games to play with non-gamers. And in this video, I'm going to be previewing Running Out of Time, Design Your Destiny from designers Jay Cormier and Blaze Sewell. Running Out of Time, Design Your Destiny is from Publisher Fell Faster, and it is coming to crowdfunding, so make sure to check out the link down below in the description of this video after you watch it. Now with this game, you're going to be doing two things. You're going to be reading part of a story, and intermittently throughout the story, you're going to play a game. However, each game that you play in this game is going to be broken, intentionally broken. And the reason for that is, is because you're playing this game to figure out why the game doesn't work for you or why it's broken. And with that being the case, you're going to start to discover how this game can help you in designing your own games. Now, a lot of the things with the story and the game are going to be geared for you to be able to play with young children or teenagers. So this is very much going to be a family weight game, a family experience. And as such, I was able to play a lot of this game with my own kids. And I'll tell you, it really did help me in figuring out designing some of the things behind my own games. And yeah, that's right. I have been working on a couple of games myself, and this particular game helped me to discover some things that I wanted to change about my games and give me some ideas as to what I could do differently to make my games more interesting and challenging and fun for the people who are playing it. Now let me show you what you have here with Running Out of Time. And I do want to point out that to what you see here is prototype, the final artwork, components, some rules of some of the games that are inside this book here are going to be subject to changing once it's released from crowdfunding. That being said, what you do have here is the storybook. And this is Spiral Bound. And uh, you will be flipping through the pages of this book. You're going to be reading the narrative. Uh, it'll tell you how to basically use this book and how it's going to work for you, but then you're going to start reading the story. And to not give you too much of the storyline here, but it is going to involve two main characters and some time travel elements. You're going to be traveling forward in time and backwards in time, and, and you're basically trying to get back to the present, not back to the future, but back to the present and uh, you're going to be helping the characters do that. Uh, Charlie and uh, his sister, Natalie, they are the main characters, and they're uh, introduced to this uh, interesting person who hands them a book that happens to be a time machine, and all sorts of wackiness and zaniness happen as they get sucked into this book here. You can see the, the artwork on this is pretty great. It's got this surrealism artwork. I, I love the artwork with it. And then as you read these chapters, there are going to be places where you're going to stop and uh, play a game, such as this game one role and movement. And, and I'm not going to share too many details about the games themselves, uh, but just know that uh, you do have components here that are going to uh, help you to play out these games. And uh, there's going to be some set of rules for you to be able to play these games, but the rules are going to be a little bit wishy-washy or a little bit up for interpretation on some things because, again, these games are broken. They're intentionally broken. They're intentionally made to have something not function so great for you. And sometimes it's going to be glaringly obvious what it is about that game that's not going to work, such as this first game. You're going to get into it and you're right away going to know, hey, wait, there's this is not there's some there's some goofiness with this. And as you play these games, there'll be some processing that you can do after the fact, some questions that you can ask yourself. And with that, it's really going to break down the game design and elements behind developing games and making them interesting and fun and giving your players choices that mean things. And it's going to help you to refine your own games that you might be working on outside of this whole, uh, this whole experience right here. And 
with that, it's going to make your product be a better game because you're figuring out what's wrong with these games. And then it's gonna challenge you, what would you change? What would you do differently with the game that you have here? And you're gonna have to stretch yourself a little bit because sometimes, like this, this first game, it's a roll and move game. And, and we all know roll and move games tend not to be so great because it's just randomness and you're not really making choices of yourself. Uh, it, the game plays itself essentially. And so it's gonna take a lot of work uh, initially to really kind of figure out how can I make this be a great game? But the, the book does guide you along with that. It gives you some ideas and it, it allows you to kind of express your creativity, your designing creativity with the guidelines that are presented here in this book. And, and with that, it really challenged myself and the decisions that I make in the games that I'm developing. It really helped me understand what goals I'm wanting to accomplish and how I can best make that happen with my own games. And so uh, working through the, the games here, game one, game two, game three, game four, uh, I think there's five or six games in the, in the book and working through that each game kind of giving you a little bit more space to expand that creativity while at the same time giving you better ideas, better mechanics, better uh, choices to, to build into that game space. Uh, it really kind of builds upon itself and, and it helps you to kind of take small ideas and, and try to flesh them out so that when you get to bigger ideas, you've already kind of stretched yourself and you fleshed things out and now it's not so difficult to expand upon bigger ideas because you are already sort of doing it with smaller ideas. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I'm making sense with that. But then you throw in the story element and that's really cool too because playing this with my kiddos, they they really got into the story element. I mean, it's time travel for goodness sakes. Who, who doesn't enjoy that type of narrative with it? And you really kind of want to help out Charlie and Natalie. You want to try to get them to be where uh, they need to be and accomplish their goals. And then these games sort of tie into that thematically. And so that really helps out too. Uh, but yeah, this was a really cool experience. And then one of the other things I want to point out is, or is actually in the back of this book. I don't want to show you too many things that are in this book and spoil anything, uh, especially the storyline, uh, because the, the story is really pretty good. There's some twists and turns along the storyline that uh, make it really interesting. Uh, but at the very back of this book, you're going to have some stickers that you can unlock for yourself. And every time that you uh, play test one of these games in here, you're going to earn a sticker. But then every time you kind of change the rules a little bit or add in your own thing, you're going to earn more stickers. And so you can see here, I've gotten a couple of those stickers and you're going to put them on this back page right here. And this is going to build something. I'm not going to give it away what it does, but uh, you are working towards something. So there's a little bit of a legacy aspect, I suppose, with this game as you are got, you've got stickers in it and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's some of the stuff that's going on here with running out of time, design your destiny. You do have some cards, dry erase marker. I mean, there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this game. This is not your typical uh, design your game box with uh, just random board game elements thrown into it. This is a, a tool, a device that's really going to stretch you and teach you and help you refine your, your game making process. And, and you're going to be a better game designer having played through this. And, and not only that, it's a family experience. And so you get to play this with your kids. And if you include them in on some of the game making process, the game designing process, it's going to help them out too because it's going to show them problem solving skills ways that you can take something that was broken and not just completely throw it away but figure out how can we make this better and I think those are just great life skills to have in general because you're going to come across that in so many different areas of life and not just game designing uh, but yeah this is just a really cool tool that I think anybody who's had any kind of notion or inkling of wanting to design their own board game really needs to go through this and discover what are the, some of the things that you could grow upon as you uh, kind of get deeper into game designing. So the game is Running Out of Time, Design Your Destiny. This is from publisher Fell Faster and designers Blaze Sewell and Jay Cormier. And again, it is running on crowdfunding, so make sure to check out that link down below in the description of this video now that you've watched it.
I'm Lance, and if you enjoy these videos here on Love to Hate, please consider liking, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified of all of our great new content. This is Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.